The race is on to reopen a place called home by many. Well, I miss the track a lot. Like, I low-key kind of forgot how to put on my helmet. From longtime racers to young smoking wheels champions like Tal and San Nicholas, the island's racing community not losing their drive to save the Guam International Raceway. Well, I'm just hoping to accomplish to save the track and make everything free. It's a desire shared by lifetime car enthusiast John Birch and one that fueled a peaceful display of his race car in front of the Guam Congress building over the weekend. Birch alongside St. Nicholas and other members doing another lap there today, ahead of next week's public hearing on Bill 287. The measure would authorize the Chamuru Land Trust Commission to enter into a commercial lease or license for a subdivided portion of a lot in Jigo for the raceway. These things don't make money. This is pure passion. So we would like the like a tax exemption, like the other facilities, other sports facilities. Um, we would like to see that commercial lease or licensee to change, you know, to, to a legislative lease. Birch not letting his foot off the gas as he continues to see the fight to save the track through to the finish line. Just show your support, you know, bring down your written testimony or oral testimony. You know, we, we just need everybody to come out, show some support for opening up the Raceway Park. And um, hopefully we could uh, win the hearts and minds of some senators. Meantime, Birch says he's received support from bill sponsors, Speaker Therese Trelawhi and Senator Chris Barnett and acting Governor Josh Tenorio. The public hearing for Bill 287 is set for June 20th.